First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of this international conference for this wonderful opportunity to share our ideas, our experiences and research studies using this online platform. Thank you, Vlad, M and I and Lynn. Um, just a little bit of self-introduction. I'm a Sarawak born Australian living in the United States. I am a counselor by training and the author of two books on Falun Gong based on my doctoral dissertation. Um, on the study of the health and wellness effects of Falun Gong. Let me introduce you to Dr. Dong. Dr. Dong is uh, uh, currently a chief scientific officer for a biotechnical tech uh, company in Switzerland. She was, formerly, she was formerly a senior medical expert for antiviral development at the uh, Swiss company called Novartis. Currently, she is based in uh, Switzerland and she is the antiviral expert. Um, Dr. Kai Xiong is from the Taiwan Ilan University and uh, with a very strong scientific background and um, he offers good insight into uh, this presentation and also into our research project. Let's take a look at the overview. Uh, we, we have a quick look at uh, the pandemic crisis and um, we breeze through Falun Gong and specifically the NTW, which stands for the nine true words of Falun Gong. So we call it the uh, NTW mantra or the Falun Gong mantra. We take a quick look at the literature review, then uh, at the aims and methods of our study, then the findings. And last of all, we will look at how chanting the NTW helps us to cope with the COVID-19. Thank you, Dr. Choi. It's, good, it's a, my great pleasure to be here today with you. So uh, as everyone is aware, the COVID-19 has posed an unprecedented threat to all humankind. According to the statistics from John Hopkins Hospital, there are uh, 109 uh, 19 million cases confirmed to be COVID-19 as of today. And uh, uh, two, more than 2.6 million people died due to this virus. This is really a terrible pandemic. And we don't have an effective antiviral for this, uh, for this virus at this moment. And the vaccine gave us some promising hopes. However, as you know, the virus is constantly changing. As you can see on this graph, each color stands for a specific features of genomes of virus strains. From the beginning of last year, the start of the global pandemic, the virus is kept changing. And until now, you know, there are some uh, strains of the viral mutants that could be more transmissible and or they, have, uh, they may have immune escape abilities, uh, which means that the current uh, available vaccines developed, developed for COVID-19 may lose their eff effect against these mutants. So this has made all the biology scientists all over the world very concerned of, about this virus changing. Next, we take a look at what is Falun Gong. Um, most of us know it as Falun Da Fa, and it's a peaceful meditation practice, good for the overall mind, body, and spiritual development. And of course, it is a very ancient Chinese self-cultivation practice that is deeply rooted in Buddhist and Taoist philosophies. And what is unique about Falun Gong is that it has only five exercises that you have to do. Um, and out of the five, you have one sitting meditation and just four standing exercises. But more importantly, it is based on the moral teachings, on the three principles, truthfulness, compassion, forbearance. In Chinese, it is Zhen Shan Ren. Now let's take a look at the Falun Gong Mantra. 
the nine true words that we use NTW in our research papers, it is, as I said just now, Falun Dafa, Chen Shan Ren Hao, and explanations there as to what those Chinese words mean. Let's take a look here what the um, uh, New Tang Dynasty television anchor, see how they pronounce it and recite it. So it's very simple, just nine words. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Trey. As you know, uh, before we do this uh, study, there are many uh, medical reports and uh, med biomedical studies that had proved that the healing effect of Falun Dafa, including the US scientists at the Baylor College of Medicine, they found the Falun Gong practice can boost the immunity. They did a study that showed that the physiocytosis and the function of healing bacteria is greatly enhanced. More, furthermore, the gene expression related to the antiviral immunity increased significantly, indicating a significantly enhanced antiviral immunity. And you know, chanting is used in spiritual practices to heal illness, to regenerate better improvement for people who have physical, mental, or uh, spiritual problems. So then at the uh, starting of the pandemic, I have been keep reading many reports from all over the world that people, uh, um, test, uh, people's testimonial that uh, they said reciting the NTW can help them cope with the COVID-19 symptoms. So then we decided to do a systemic me uh, medical analysis of all these reports. So the study aim is to evaluate the effect of reciting the Falun Gong mantra against the COVID. So we took a retrospective case study design based on the patient reported outcome, PRO, from the real world. And then we searched in the main database, uh, minghui.org, and then we use Chinese words, nine true words, and COVID-19 or Wuhan virus to search for the relevant cases. We did a five months searching period from January the first last year to end of May last year. So we also have five uh, uh, um, clear inclusion exclusion criteria to make sure we will retrieve the relevant cases. Please note that none of those cases were Falun Gong practitioners because we just want to show the effect on the normal people. So here is the demographics. Uh, connectively, we found the 36 um, eligible uh, uh, cases reported from uh, six countries all over the world and from six ethnic groups. So including China, US, France, Canada, Denmark, and Japan. And the majority of those patients experience uh, symptoms like a fever, 72%, and the respiratory symptoms including breathing difficulties or chest problems or chest pains. And uh, one third of them experience neurological symptoms as well. The overall effects of reciting the Falun Gong mantra is we can say that we can see clearly that 100% of them benefit from the reciting of the mantra, and including 73% of them completely recovered. And many of them uh, had reported also before, before reciting the mantra, they failed to previous treatment or they lose the effect very quickly. So from the time, from time perspective, so the averagely, they, these 36 patients take only one day starting from reciting the mantra to symptom improvement. This averagely only one day. And only three days from reciting the mantra to complete recovery. 
Let's give you a few examples. So case 46, this is a 73-year-old female living in United States. She developed a loss of taste and the whole body pain and uh, shortness of breath. Uh, even sometimes she felt she couldn't breath at all and she had the fear of death clearly. And uh, at that time, because of her past disease history of cardiovascular disease and the cancer history, and she is uh, uh, old people, her doctors suspect her as uh, COVID-19 cases and didn't suggest her to go to the hospital because there is no effective way and she would have a high chance to die because of her comorbidity, the past disease history. And then at that moment, her her friend taught her to recite the nine true words. And she started to breathe normally when she recited these words. And within only three days of reciting the nine true words, she, she can feel breathing deep normally like a normal person. And there is no more breath shortness anymore. And she recovered her strength and the energy quickly. And within one month, she was like a normal people. And it not only the breathing difficulties of COVID was fully recovered, but also her heart problem was also improved. Her heartbeat improved from 44 beat per minute to 40, 54, 54 uh, beat per minute. And this person has been interviewed by us and we have obtained her consent to write a medical report and published in a medical journal called F1000 Research. And she has been interviewed and also you can go to the website to see the whole medical reports. And she said the mantra chanting triggers a healing process that enhances the intake of oxygen. So no matter who create this mantra, it really help people to breathe correctly. And this is another case who is an 80 year old male from Wuhan, China. Similarly, he was critically ill and semi-coma status in a, and he even gave up the hospital treatment and unwilling to cooperate with the doctors. At that moment, she, uh, he started to recite the nine true words only because of his, uh, he is old. He could only remember five words. And within seven days, recited the mantra, he recovered. And on the eighth day, he, he was discharged by the hospital. His miraculous recovery really surprised his relatives and friends. So there are two other critical your cases which has who have similar semi-coma status and one was also diagnosed with 60 percent non-necrosis there was no hope for their survival and within very short time of reciting the mantra though both critical ill cases was recovered and discharged from the hospital by the physicians which is really amazing Let's take a look at the patient's feedback. The first case is a Turkish lady from France. So for 11 days, she could not eat and she was in constant pain and the pain was so terrible that she even contemplated suicide. And then she started reciting the Falun Gong mantra and lo and behold, her in condition improved quickly and she felt it was a miracle unrestricted from death. And case 11 is a Chinese physician uh, it's a couple. Both the husband and wife are doctors. Both was diagnosed with COVID. And he had persistent fever and didn't respond to the injections that they were giving each other. And so he started reciting the NTW. Overnight, the fever was gone. And he mentioned that his eyesight also improved. His legs become felt warm. I feel like being reborn. Let's take a look at um, how Falun Gong Mantra helps. Now, this is a citation from the main teachings of Falun Gong by Master Li Hongzi. And he said, under the special effect of a magnetic field, a Qigong master can radiate a powerful and very beautiful aura. The higher one's Gong potency, the 
larger the generated energy field. And so in high energy physics research, people believe that energy is made of particles such as neutrons and atoms. So many Qigong masters, including the well-known ones, have undergone testing and so did Master Li Hongzi. But what happened was the gamma rays and the thermal neutrons that were given off by Master Li was 80 to 170 times more than normal matter. It was so high that the testing apparatus indicator reached the limit and still couldn't test how high his energy field was. So uh, that was, uh, can we have the next? Um, here we show you several images of the high energy fields of Falun Gong practitioners. There were photographs taken, but the photographer didn't see all these images there. It was only after the photograph was taken, they saw the field of energy over Falun Gong practitioners in the practice site. In the text of Juan Falun, the master did actually talk about it, that when you are practicing together, there will be a huge energy field. And he, talks about, he talked about the colors as well. And the next slide we will see it is the same. All photographs taken with the photographer not knowing that there were all these strange colors around Falun Gong practitioners. The center one when she was meditating on the right, the lady was in the early days doing a balancing on someone and just behind her you see this circle of energy, circular energy field as well. And in the next one, where Falun Gong people are, you will see the energy field is very strong. Now, let's have a look at why energy can be seen on the photos. So here we see that the, uh, the human eyes are able to see light waves within 400 and 700 nanometers. That's a blue box in the center. Beyond that range, the, gr the green and the red area, our eyes cannot see the energy field. Of course, if you are clairvoyant, you might see some of the auric field. But it is possible to capture the energy waves if they are within the sensitive range of a camera sensor. So accordingly, sometimes this auric field get caught in photographs. So let's have a look again. This is another uh, quotation from Master Lee's book, The Introduction to Falun Gong, which is the first book. And he says, human thinking is a type of message, a type of energy, and a form of material existence. So when a person thinks, the brain produces a frequency. Why? Because the energy, the universe, because the universe has its own vibrational frequency and an effect will be produced when the frequency of your mantra coincides with that of the universe. For it to be effective though, it certainly has to be benign in nature. So our thoughts have to be positive, right? Since wicked things aren't allowed to exist in the universe. Okay, let me give you an analog. So how Falun Gong Mandra helps, it's like the radio tower give up the release the energy by the, uh, in the form of waves. So the radio can uh, receive the signals. And then when people recite the Falun Gong Mandra, it helped them to connect with the Falun Gong high energy field. And the Falun Gong high energy field could be transmitted efficiently into the human being. And thus gave them a huge power to irradiate the virus. From energy, energy medicine perspective, the irradiation could be quite fast and instant. As a conclusion, so, Retrospectively, uh, as, uh, we have observed 36 cases from six countries and six ethnic groups. They have suspected or confirmed with COVID-19 disease, and they showed a significant and rapid clinical improvement after reciting the NDW. So the time to effect was very fast. And the reciting the NTW is very easy to learn, it's safe, it's not conflicting with any conventional treatment. Since sincerely reciting the Falun Gong Mandra can release the Falun Gong power, energy power, to, to help the people to get rid of the virus by boosting their immunity, improve their health, and maintain their fitness. We think reciting the Falun Gong Mandra is really a beneficial option for patients and also for us healthy people. 
in addition to practicing the conventional measures. Okay, last, we want to show you a beautiful, uh, a big feature, picture that if you look at the nine words here on the ground, it's in Taiwan. So more than 5,400 uh, Falun practitioners, they composed the, the nine true words and they tell the word to the, the two, the nine true words from Falun Gong can, can help them to better cope with the severe COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you everyone for joining us. And uh, so this is, uh, uh, that's the end of our presentation. There are books and the videos on this website. If you have any questions, welcome. Thank you very much, Professor Dong and Margaret. Uh, we don't have time for questions here, but please do. I'm sure there are a lot of questions, so please do ask in the in the co -op. I do have several questions that I will put there as well. Thank you very much. See you for the panel di discussion in 15 minutes. Thank you. Thank you.